All right, hello again. Here's the uh, observatory. Uh, of course, the telescope is wrapped in plastic, especially the camera. That's uh, an SDF uh, 8300M with an eight filter uh, wheel in there, all uh, completely uh, automated. Uh, the uh, Rubbermaid shed, which is a seven by seven, I put an exoskeleton made of uh, plastic, uh, correction, uh, made of uh, wood, two by fours, and that prevents the observatory from warping in the summertime. And uh, this right here, it's a bar that also keeps, uh, it's a load bearing and keeps the, helps keep the shape in, in the summertime. And I, rem I removed that uh, during uh, imaging sessions. But anyway, here you go, so you can see it. Uh, that's the photo cell, one of the photo cells from the remote, from the garage door opener right here. And of course, it's gotta be ahead a of the leading edge of the roof, and I'm gonna show you why, because it's gotta detect the, uh, uh, any obstruction before the roof hits it. So there's one here, and the other one's over there, and uh, they're waterproof with a Ziploc. This is how I attached the garage door opener. This is the cheapest Chamberlain. And uh, as you can see, I put a plastic cover on top, which is nothing more than a, like a hamper or something. And then uh, uh, I put a piece of plastic ahead of that and, and this, uh, this roofing right here, this white plastic, and that keeps the rain out. Standard uh, rail system. This is what's called a trolley. Now, as you can see, and I'm gonna show it on the other side, it's the way it's supposed to be uh, mounted. Now, at the beginning, I mounted it up there from on top, as opposed from like it is right now. What, what that did is that whenever the photocells detected an obstruction, it actually kept closing the roof and uh, with a attendant danger of hitting the uh, telescope. So you don't want that to happen. So what you want to do is you, mount it, you want to mount it the, uh, the correct way and then you make the modification like I did. You know, I just put a piece of metal on the site right there and I attached it. Uh, uh, let's see if you can see that. That's how I attached it. That's a fan, which is temperature controlled and that exhausts all the hot air in the summertime, keeping uh, the outside air temperature uh, the way it is. So if it's 110 degrees, it'll be about 110, 150 inside, but it won't be 200 degrees. And that's very important. Okay, nothing uh, special here. Some uh, uh, weatherproofing for the uh, electronics. Okay, I'm going to give you another uh, shot of the trailer and how I attached it. This is important. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, open. this. The middle wheels right there. And that's nothing but a, a protection. There's a telescope right there. And if you can see here, see how the light goes out? That means that it detected an obstruction. So let's give it the uh, Let's give it a test here. Boom. So it's very important to have these photo cells I had of the roof. So it will detect any obstruction here. Okay. So uh, that's about it. That's all I can say. That's how I built this system. Let me give you a bird's eye view of this. I know it's kind of long, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thank you very much. Good luck to you, all of you.